Well, thank you. Um, as we say, Dr. Palmieri, unfortunately, couldn't make it here today. My name is Loris Rinaldi, and uh, I assist Dr. Palmieri in a very innovative and interesting project uh, uh, that is held by the University of Modena in Italy. Uh, and uh, um, IRMO, which is an association that was created by Dr. Palmieri and other professors um, to um, conduct a comparative study between humans, uh, pathologies that affect humans such as uh, tumors and also other sort of pathologies like chiroconjunctivitis sicca and dogs. Since uh, we've been uh, studied, there are different studies in the in the research world that uh, prove the fact that there are many connections between uh, the reaction that dogs have through certain treatments and through the way that we can diagnose them as well and humans. So we are trying to learn what are the paths that connect the two worlds and what we can take from one world and transfer it to the other and vice versa. And uh, Dr. Palmieri will speak during this presentation through a video. He really wanted to be the one speaking, so uh, it'll be right there. I'm going to play this video in a second. I just need the audio connection. Excuse me. Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to restart it. Thank you to the presidents of the Congress for having accepted this uh, long-term distance uh, lecture from my university. I am Professor Palmieri, my name is Benjamino Palmieri, and uh, I am a uh, uh, staff sergeant at the University of Modern Medical School. And uh, the presentation today is an intriguing uh, nutraceutical approach in dogs affected by keratoconjunctivitis sicca. Uh, this is a quite nice uh, discussion about the relationship between uh, animals and human disease and a potential therapeutic approach to this disease by means of nutraceutical food. As everybody knows, keratoconjunctivitis sicca is a corneal conjunctiva progressive inflammatory disease affecting either human dogs uh, with tears production, impairment, and several ocular symptoms triggered by autoimmune imbalance. Now, the current therapies either in humans or in animals are cytosporin as immunosuppressive and anti-inflammatory agent, tracolimus ointment with the same purpose, and artificial tears just for irrigation of the cornea preventing ulcerations. Steroid drops are an either uh, functional uh, treatment uh, uh, locally uh, dropped uh, into the conjunctiva and can help to uh, mm, reduce inflammation and symptoms. Our work aims to evaluate the complementary role of two months administration of nutraceutical food in dogs whose immunosuppressive treatment had proven inadequate. The study was done at IRMO Center, which is a, a, a network uh, between our university and that, that uh, institutions in order to uh, perform uh, physiological and pathophysiology studies uh, comparatively between pet animals and humans. We have done, uh, uh, since 10 years, our studies in genomic and proteomics, uh, comparing pets and humans. IRMO uh, is a, a network uh, where, uh, comparatively, we study oncology, inflammation, and neurodegeneration of physiopathology, health maintenance, nutrition, prevention, and treatment. We have also specific focus on oncology, with pet animals as sentinels of human disease, and potential recognition of out imbalances, especially in old sick people. Specifically, we match animals and humans on a common pathophysiological and therapeutic basis, and furthermore, to comparatively explore the human pet's common background for more effective strategies in human health and disease. Because both human and pets are exposed to the same environmental risks, so it is very easy and very challenging to compare uh, the physiopathology of this disease and the therapeutic issues uh, on this basis. We uh, performed a study on 49 dogs of different breeds, mean, mean age 6.01 years, 
and he weighed 34, 35 kilos and uh, equally subdivided between males and females with immune-related keratoconjunctivitis sicker symptoms, blepharospasm, mucopurient ocular discharge, conjunctival chemosis and hyperemia, exposure to keratitis with opacity appearance, vascularization and corneal pigmentation, were supplied with a regular amount of nutraceutical products named the force of the immunophthalmic over a 60 days period. In this slide you can see that uh, both eyes were involved in the, in the symptoms which were acute and chronic uh, at the same time and uh, you can see that uh, over the, the time uh, there is a, a relief of the symptoms uh, to uh, single items. In this slide you can see conjunctivitis improvement uh, in both the eyes. Also the intensity of keratitis was reduced uh, among the uh, days of the treatment in both eyes and corneal pigmentation was improved uh, same time, same way. And also mucus discharge average intensity was improved as well during the nutritional program. And let's now see why this dogs uh, improved so dramatically along uh, two months uh, uh, treatment uh, with food. What is the composition, the nutraceutical formula that we uh, give to the dogs? Uh, basically fish proteins, uh, rice carbohydrates, melon superoxide, dismetase, ascophyllum, astaxanthin, aloe vera, papaya, punica granatum, green tea, polygonum lapatifolium, curcuma, pythonigrum, zinc, omega-3, omega-6 ratio, of 1.08. As you can see, this formula encloses a lot of uh, vegetable extracts that are really uh, useful also in human disease, but are not uh, 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 pooled in a, in, in a single food. So uh, this, uh, this trial was very effective to demonstrate that pooling together different practice principles can achieve very good results which can stay long term and uh, they are based on the fact that uh, the, the basic substratum of the disease is modified by the synergy of different active principles. Let us uh, synthetically examine now what is the human side of this uh, food, uh, nutraceutical food treatment. As you can see, we have to uh, administer melon superoxide dismutase, which has strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, but also ascophyllum nodosum uh, is used for different uh, uh, problems in the human, but has basically antioxidant activities and uh, also anti-tumor to the activate, uh, activation of host immune system. And this is one reason why the infective part of uh, keratoconjunctivitis can be dramatically improved by the uh, ascophyllum nodosum integration. Astaglantin is also an extraordinary uh, inhib inhibitor uh, active principle of NFB-KB activation, which is a, 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 a system which uh, promotes inflammatory cytokines and intercellular adhesion molecule 1 in both messenger RNA transcription and protein synthesis. So this is the basic level of astaxanthin in the nutraceutical food that we use to control NFKB mechanism and TGFB1 induction. And so in this way we are active on uh, uh, matrix metalloproteinase 2 and uh, there is a quite a dramatic improvement uh, of the anti-inflammatory effect. Aloe vera is another very extraordinary pool with anthrone, chromone, aloe vera, and hydroxyhaloin, and also power immunostimulants uh, uh, by polyglucan leptis, which significantly support the formation of specific, and, uh, specific antibodies. Glucomannan and Dasemana, which are enclosed in the formula of aloe vera, accelerate wound healing, activate macrophages, and there's also antiviral and anti-tumor effects. Papaya has uh, also strong immunomodulatory effects by reducing uh, IL-2 and IL-4 production 
in PB and C, and also reducing uh, IFN gamma and TNF alpha enhancement. And uh, this is a very strong upregulation of uh, uh, different genes with immunomodulatory activity, as you can see in this table. Ponica granatum is another herb with uh, uh, amelioration capacity in neuropathic pain, but also uh, has a strong free radical scavenging anti and anti-inflammatory action, and is effective in treatment of cancer, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, arthritis, and erectile dysfunction. Uh, it has also alpha glucosidase and maltase inhibitory effects due to the presence of trigger pains. So this is a, another quite complex mechanism of action which is putatively adopted in these experiments on the keratoconjunctivitis sicca. Also we have uh, epigallocatechin from green tea. And this is a, a very well known total antioxidant capacity and the glutathione peroxidase in inducing activity which has been experimentally demonstrated on the sprogdole rats and is also able to downregulate the cellular nuclear factor erythroid 2 related factor 2 and upregulation of peroxyredoxin 6 expression so uh, there is a puzzling activity of green tea extracts as an antioxidant has a, a strong cap capability to pull the zinc uh, into its leaves with significant inhibitory effects on Epstein-Barr virus and uh, antigenic block. Curcuma uh, also decreases uh, inflammatory cytokine expressions in adipose tissue, but also has several different effects on the genes that you can see here and that regulates also TH1 cytokine response and nitric oxide production by macrophage and their upregulation in nat natural killer cells. So there is a general immune modulating effect from purpura. Piper nigrum has uh, a complex formula of, uh, of extracts uh, uh, with cariophyllin, limonin, cybinin, flicarin, bilpinin and alpha-pinin all endowed with antioxidant activity and also the zinc regulates the cellular <coughs> enzymes and especially NFKB activity during innate immune activation. So uh, also this molecule is very important in uh, pro promoting wound healing but also downstaging inflammation. And finally omega-3 omega-6 ratio which is in this case very well balanced being 1 to 0 0.8 the ratio. This is very important for reversing endothelial dysfunction and oxidative stress in several models, including human menopause. And uh, this uh, idea of uh, reducing inflammation by means of omega-3 uh, has been uh, generally adopted in several cardiovascular diseases and symptoms and also in brain dysfunction. So let us see what are our take-home messages. First of all, humanization of domestic animals can be a valuable strategy for dietary intervention studies. Based on clinical evidence, humans and pets may have a very intriguing borderline mutual benefit in the functional food area. The ration of functional foods administration to the dog potentially might be addressed to human beings. Chronic food ingestion might in fact modify the genetic background and prevent or treat many diseases. But we have some possible gaps in human nutrition. The taste of the functional foods might be a drawback to their prolonged intake. In fact, the turnover of different menus is most appealing for human nutrition. Certain gut microbiota modulation by probiotic prebiotic administration may reduce the risk of disease. And thus food will be your medicine accordingly with hypothesis aphorism and we believe strongly that especially in chronic illnesses uh, the integration with functional food might really improve the symptoms of maintaining the good level of healing achieved avoiding relapses of the disease so the, I, I, I am very grateful to the managers uh, the president of the congress that accepted 
to uh, input our lecture into this clinical uh, very uh, important convention uh, just because we need to have animal models which are not reproducing the disease artificially like injecting for instance inflammatory substances in the conjunctiva rather are spontaneously uh, observed by vets and uh, uh, all the attempts to uh, holistically treat the disease can be relevant also for clinical uh, stage and, uh, and the clinical decision making. So I thank you very much and I will give you my email and uh, Dr. Rinaldi, which is present at the session, can collect a few questions and I can answer in real time to your uh, uh, queries. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.